today we're going to go through a 12 minute no excuses pajama ab workout. I know we've all been spending a lot of time in our pajamas lately, but that is no excuse not to work your abs out for the day. So today we're going to go through two sets of four different exercises and we're going to do each set two times. We're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds on and then take 15 seconds rest in between them. It's going to be very easy to follow along. I'm going to be right there doing it with you. So just make sure you have that screen somewhere where it's easy to see and let's get to it right now. Okay, up first, we're starting down on our backs. We are going to make sure our hips are tucked under. We're sucking that belly button to the ground as we lift our legs up. Lower them as much as we can with that back still on the ground. Hands behind our head. Here we go. We're in a hollow body hold for 30 seconds. Okay, challenge yourself today. If, but if it's too difficult and you can't do this, it's okay to modify. You can take your hands behind your neck for support by your side. You can also bring those legs up a little higher. Just make sure you're engaging that stomach. You're sucking that belly button to the floor. You can also bend those knees if you need to. Okay, we're here for a few more. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Woo! Okay, bring those knees to your chest. Take a little bit of a rest here. Okay, up next, we're taking those legs back out to the hollow body hold. We're taking those hands behind our head and we're gonna lower that right leg and then bring our knee to our chest. Okay, we're just moving that right leg and we're putting the same elbow as the leg to the knee, okay. We're working that core, make sure you're sucking that belly button to the ground. If you need to bend or put this leg on the ground, that's fine as well. It's still gonna work that core, you're still gonna get a burn. But if you can, challenge yourself, take that leg up or take it down as far as you can. Okay, bring those knees to your chest. Up next, we're doing the other side. So we're back into that hollow body hold and then we're lowering that left leg and we're bringing the left elbow to the knee. Okay, modification again for this one is you can bring that leg up to here if that's easier. You can also bring that leg to the ground and just keep that left leg moving through that motion. But if you can challenge yourself, we're taking that leg out and then we're holding it there as we move the left. Make sure that core is engaged. It's nice and slow and controlled. Woo! Okay, bring those knees to your chest. Up next, we're doing double legs. So we're taking those legs out and then we're tapping hand to feet, out and in. Modification for this is, you can just go straight up and down, up and down, or you can take feet down and up, down and up, okay. The only thing I ask is that you engage that core. I want your core to be on fire. I want you to feel that belly button sucking to the ground and no gap between your back and the floor. Awesome work. Okay, take a little bit of a break here. We're going back to that hollow body hold for our second round. Okay, let's get ready. Engage that core, suck that belly button to the ground. And we're going back to that hollow body hold. Modification, bring those knees closer to you. Bend those knees and you can take those hands behind your head or beside your side, whatever is most comfortable for you, but challenge yourself. Make sure you are pushing yourself and engaging that core. Make sure you're breathing. If you can lower those legs, lower those legs, but keep that back on the ground. Woo! Okay, bring those knees to your chest. Take a little bit of a rest. We're back to that single leg crunch. Okay, so we're taking those legs back out to the hollow body hold and we're gonna lower that right leg and then bring it in and right elbow to right knee. Modification, you can move this leg wherever you need. You can also put your left leg on the ground as you keep that right leg moving. Okay. Wherever you are, make sure 
You're sucking that belly button and you're engaging that core. There should be no gap between the ground. Really think about squeezing your belly button to the ground. Awesome work, okay, take a little bit of a breather. We're on to the left leg now, okay. Here we go, let's get those legs out. Back to that hollow body hold, then we're just gonna move that left leg. And then left elbow to knee, okay. If you need to, bring that leg up a little higher, that's fine. You can also take that leg to the ground. Okay, let's challenge ourselves. Challenge that core. You're doing awesome. Make sure you're breathing. Awesome work, okay. Another little rest here. We're going back to those double legs, okay. So we're taking both the legs out and then tap the toes. Out, tap the toes. We can take legs straight up. And tap the toes, straight up, but you can also do it with bent leg. If your neck is getting tired, you can also take that neck down and just move through the same motion. Keep those abs engaged, belly button sucking to the floor. This is your final exercise of this first set. And then we're moving on to some new exercises. Awesome work, okay. We are now rolling over to our front. And we are gonna hold for our first 30 seconds a low plank, okay. So let's get into that low plank. Really push through those shoulders. If you need to modify, you can come down to your knees. But really engage your core, make sure everything's working. But challenge yourself. Even if you can just hold up here for a few seconds, I want you to do that. And then you can come down here, but really challenge yourself, challenge your core. Let's get that core on fire. You're doing awesome, stay with me. Woo, okay, take a little bit of a rest. Let's push back into a child pose. Okay, up next, we're going into a high plank. And we're doing spider plank. So we're bringing that leg to our side, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow, okay. If you need to modify, you can come down onto your knees and we do the same motion. Okay, whatever you're doing, you're doing it nice and controlled and steady and your abs are engaging throughout the whole motion. Push up strong for your hands. Awesome work, okay. Next we're going in to another low plank hold. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna get back into that plank and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, you can do it. If you need to modify, you just come down to those knees. You need a little bit of a rest down here, but then come back up. Really push yourself through this. Planks are so awesome for us, guys. It's so cool. I know it hurts, but we can do it together. We're here working our core as a team. Let's push through. Okay, come back into that child pose. Okay, next we're going back up into that high plank and we're doing slow mountain climbers. So we're gonna hold that knee in here for a couple seconds and then back. So just nice and slow and controlled. Okay, if you need to modify, you can come down onto your knees and same thing, you're gonna bring that knee into your chest and back, chest and back. Make sure you're crunching those abs, okay? If you're up in a high plank, push up strong through your hands and your shoulders and bring that knee to your chest. Awesome work. Okay, we're going back through that round one more time. Okay, here we go. Back down into that low plank. You're doing awesome. We are over halfway, we are almost there. You are amazing. 
You should be so proud of yourself. You're getting stronger. You can do this modification if you need to come to your knees. That's totally fine. You are still getting your workout. You're still challenging yourself and you're still going to get stronger, okay? But push yourself and see if you can do this. Woo! Okay, let's push that through the end before we go back into that high plank and we're doing this spider, spider plank. I think it's called spider plank. <laughs> anyway, we're bringing our knee to our elbow. Nice and slow and controlled, okay? We're pushing up through our hands and bringing those knees to our elbow. Okay, modification. You come down to your knee and you do the same motion. Okay, stay with me. We've only got two more exercises to go. You can do it. Awesome work. Okay, let's push back into a child's pose. Okay, we're back into that low plank hold. You can do it. I know you can. Let's get ready. Okay, we're here for 30. You can do it. This is our final plank hold, guys. We only have one more exercise and then we are done. You're awesome. We've got less than a minute to go. Really feel strong in this plank. If you need to take a break, that's fine. And then just get right back up and make sure you're pushing through those shoulders. Awesome work. Okay, we're pushing back one more time. Final exercise. We're doing a slow mountain climbers. Okay, so let's really make sure we're crunching that knee through our chest and working those abs. Okay, nice and slow and controlled. You can do it. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there. If you need to modify, come down to your knees and make sure you're pulling your knee into your chest as tightly as you can. But try it. See if you can do it in a full plank. Push yourself. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys are amazing. I'm so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that big subscribe button and turn on those notifications. There's so many new workouts coming out. And I would love to see you back here again soon. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave me a comment in the comments below. Otherwise, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you again soon. Bye.